part three on why I left the church and being a pastor there. <sighs> when my daughter died and people said the craziest, shittiest things to me at church, um, I was super angry at God because I'd done everything right, right? Like I didn't have sex until I was married. I married the man that he wanted me, the prophet told me I needed to marry and uh, prayed and went to church seven days a week. But I realized that you can't have faith without doubt. And it was okay to doubt. Because otherwise, if you don't have doubt, it's just fact. And that's not faith. Okay, that's science, which I love science. But um, so I started doubting and I started to realize that the God who I had created in my mind was a character of who I thought he was. And I started reading a lot of books different than the Baptist and Pentecostal way that I was taught. This one, the denial of death, did me in. Anyway, I have a whole different view of who God is now. Maybe one day I'll be brave enough to share all of that with you guys. But uh, it's a better view for me. It's a more loving view of who God is, a more accepting view. And I don't feel a need to be in church or go to church. So instead, I just help people without needing that title and without needing that building. I just help people and I invite women to my house all the time to, to doubt, to talk about hard things in life and to work through issues in life together because that is love. And I think that is who the essence, that is the essence of who God is, is love. So that's all I, I'm worried about. I don't care about theology anymore. I don't care about predestination, eternal salvation, uh, Calvinism, speaking in tongues, gifts of the spirit. I don't care about any of that anymore. Just love. Focus on that. And I do that in my everyday life. I don't need a building. Hope that answers your question.